Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Karano Kyokai movie number 8 and this is the epilogue. So like before we start I'm going to ask you guys something like uh, we're almost at the end of all of the movies and uh, there's one more movie left I think after this uh, which I'm going to obviously like do in the next week and uh, <clears throat> so my uh, like question is like what do you want what do you guys want me to like react to next from uh, from the anime movies department and <clears throat> like I'm going to like uh, mention something here that is like uh, unlike anime uh, series uh, I have not watched many anime movies so I'm more or less like don't know most of them uh, the few that I've watched are like more like the most popular ones for example um, I've watched uh, uh, Tenki no Ko then um, uh, Your Name and uh, Koe, no, uh, Koe no Katachi uh, and uh, like stuff like these and uh, the uh, uh, anime, I mean the anime series movies, for example, like the Konosuba movies, like I've watched Konosuba and the movie I've watched Konosuba movie as so I've watched as well. Mahoka, I've watched the movie and like these type of movies which are like related to the anime itself. Other than that, the standalone movies, uh, I have not barely not watched anything. I have not ne neither watched any of the Ghibli movies, uh, like none of them as far as I can uh, say. Like I've like watched none of the Ghibli movies, so I'm like... I can do that as well or if you guys want me to like uh, do like uh, one of the type moon series I don't know about you can like uh, say that in the comment section as well like uh, uh, like any kind of series related to the type moon franchise or anything uh, related to that uh, and uh, I have to say one thing is that um, the only type moon movie I uh, have no, I don't think I've seen any, uh, like, Akano Kyuhe was the first type moon uh, movie that I've seen. So, yeah, I've watched the series, like, I've watched the Fate series, I've liked, uh, watched the uh, Ilya Prisma, uh, that kind of spin-off series of the Fate. I've watched that as well. I've read the Tsukihime visual novel and stuff like this. But uh, other than that, uh, I have not watched any other thing. So if there's anything other, I mean, uh, left for that. You can uh, like uh, like say that. <coughs> uh, <coughs> excuse me. You can uh, suggest that in the comment section as well. I'll check. I'll check this comment section and like uh, in the next uh, movie. I'm all like uh, I'll also be like doing this kind of like I'm going to say this same thing and uh, like uh, I'll like ch uh, check the comment sections both the both the uh, reactions and I'm going to like make a decision on which one to do. So. Yeah, but or if, if like the comments are very less and uh, stuff and I am not unable to like make a decision based on that I'll probably do one of the movies that I've not watched. So yeah So that's it. That was all that I was going to talk about So be sure to comment down below and uh, that What do you want me to in the in the week after the next week? So yeah Okay, so in the the previous movie kind of like wrapped everything up. It was uh like the end of Shiki's story and like this is the epilogue so and this is quite short as well like 33 minutes uh, so I'm guessing like it will <coughs> I don't know like show something about what happened to Shiki after that and uh, I'm also quite uh, a bit like curious about the next movie that is I saw that it was something called Mirai Fukin or something I'm not sure and it it is like quite a big movie I, I think so I'm quite curious that what that is about like this is the epilogue so what that is so anyways I'll get to know that uh, in due time but so yeah uh, without further ado let's get started with kind of movie number eight and the epilogue that is okay I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is a preference and let's get started okay so here's the countdown three Two, one, go. <coughs> okay. Hmm. Excuse me. Okay, snowing. So it's um, Christmas or winter time over there. <coughs> hmm. 
Hmm. Oh, this is like the same uh, scene from before, but now Kokuto is like the his hair. Like this is after what everything had happened to Shiki, but the scene is the same. <clears throat> oh yeah, his leg. Did he get hurt in his leg as well? I can't remember. Hmm. Damn. It's been a while. What? Why is he calling him Kun? Wait a minute. What happened? What happened to his leg? He was not walking like this uh, in the previous episode, did he? At the end? Was she? Was he? Wait, what is happening? Wait, he... Like, that Shiki did not go away? Wait a minute, what happened here? Wait a minute... So, there's, there's another personality inside? Okay, inside the emptiness of his soul. The empty soul itself. Two person. Uh, separate. Things. Comes everything. Which was and which was not. Heart that can hmm. Guess who the two shikis are? The foundation. Okay. Hmm. That will be confusing. Yogi Shiki. Oh, that was her. Oh, I thought that was the other Shiki, the male Shiki. Oh my god, okay. But neither of them can perceive. Shiki will have no recollection of this day either. Okay, so let's get here. What is it that you desire? Can't I don't think that you could wish for.
<clears throat> hmm. Well, he can get it himself. Hmm, that's an interesting question. Hmm, okay. Yeah, kind of. If you were for Mm, yeah, kind of. It's the truth. Feed it electricity and the pen could Oh, yeah. Hmm. I'm getting where they're going with this. Hmm. No matter of intelligence. Comes first, and then the intelligence is born. Psyche, soul, and the body. Hmm. The brain. Soul comes from the physical body. The physical body is a vessel. True nature. Personality derived from my body. at the root character part hmm so she's like the origin yeah and in the true essence the real shiki or the soul Yeah, kind of. Okay. Hmm, <laughs> me either. But I can kind of understand what they're trying to say. Hmm, yeah.
true nature that never shows her face. Oh, okay. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, male and female. The inseparable is different conflict. Maxim, okay. Misfortune of acquiring myself. Okay. Portion of body intelligence. Those like me who were born with nothing. Now for this a dinosaur and after now you see. What was business with me? Human consciousness will never tolerate. Yeah. I would have been born and never would have awoken. Some such as I would be directed from an emptiness. Yeah, so she was like a hollow shell since emptiness is nothingness, I mean, emptiness is nothingness as well. Seems to be nothing without it because see in the outside world. They awakened me. Then I still need to read me for some to awaken my emptiness, my origin. Oh, okay. Can blame. Predictable. Yeah, so why is she calling herself empty then? But none of them ever perceives their own self. Oh! That's just born from activity in the brain develops into a personality. Controls the physical body. Personality helps in the physical body. And the physical body loses all purpose. The body which created it. Okay, the difference in my case was that the order was reversed. Understand words. <laughs> well, I did not get any of that. Without your shitty personality, you wouldn't be aware of the outside world. Okay. Okay, this is easier to understand. Container can only gaze inwardly 
on a path towards death okay so i was connected to the origin that referred to nothing to me It would be nothing for me to heal this wound. That could help him. Yet there is nothing that you desire. Mm, okay, so he doesn't want something to like. So Shiki causes the body to end. So Shiki has endlessly said the void that was Shiki. Okay, alright. Remember what that felt like. That is the reason why. Yeah, that was like kind of explained before as well. Spiral of origin. at night in total darkness see the void of all shapes and of home Nothingness was your shape. Everything without exception. Okay, so no matter how much the person to should be denied. It. And that is also the reason why she, he dis she destroys everything. This void, the tendency to hope. Uh, okay. Oh, so it's more like her soul's nature. She was a special challenge, able to see things different than other people. A spiral of origin. Microcosm of the world. And myself might be the spiral. Oh. All causes world. Where everything is provided and thus when there is nothing. Mm, kind of like your extension. Okay, so that was she was asking what do you wish for? Laws of substance, so mind. Okay, well, you don't need to do that. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Just be same as dreaming something like that. Very dreams in nothing. I think of the time. Dreaming. Oh, 
Well, boring is the more normal thing. Hmm. I have to go along with her dream. <laughs> All right, so she. She's something that she knows everything, but Shiki being the outer personality, she does not know that. So she I don't realize the dream has ended okay so she is the origin that each and every mage want to reach <coughs> hmm. it's not as if she is yearning for death misunderstanding yeah like she is nothingness that is the reason why hmm. I don't think she's going to kill anymore for anything okay Well, yeah, a boring life, but a normal one. End result. Hmm. Hmm, yeah, kind of correct. Most difficult task is such a life from the start, yes. Yeah, without hmm.
like people try but fail and that's why they lead a normal life but kokto in this case he has start like his main goal was on leading a normal life and he wanted to be a normal person who is in special has completed different purposes in life hmm this to turn the gaps in the boundary of emptiness this will never come she back oh no any chance that no one will understand this is no one ever tries to understand no one will ever try to really understand her it will also never attract anyone Hmm. Not the one who's actually all alone. Hmm. Yeah. What's that? Wait, was that the wind? What was that? I know, I'll see you again tomorrow. Okay, so was that like some kind of um, did she leave, or like was there something that Kokto was um, I don't know. Okay, I was not expecting uh, this type of like an epilogue, but it was okay. And uh, like I think that there was a lot of things to understand here. But <laughs> as Kokuto said, half of the things went over my head because obviously, like the like th it takes a bit of time to process it, and obviously because I'm reacting to it, I'm unable to pause it. So like I have to like think of the reason why they're saying. At the like minute of seconds, so it was a little bit difficult for me to like interpret each and every line. But uh, the only thing, like the thing that I understood was, um, like I got the basic thing they were trying to say. Uh, that is, um, this shiki was like the origin of everything, and she was not supposed to be alive. Like a thing like this, which is empty, usually, as she said, like dies in the womb of the mother. But 
the like the family members the yogi family members try to like instill personality inside that and that is how like shiki possesses two personalities one is the male and the female yin and yang which uh, like like in every body like a person like me you everyone has like a yin and yang and uh, like uh, i'm a male but there's also like a female inside me which is a very like a uh, little portion which is usually not like comes into like uh, we we don't see but there is like a female inside me a female personality inside me uh, but it's uh, very less so and the male personality in me is like predominant so like this uh, as she said like uh, shiki's like the yin and yang were cut very like uh, perfectly and it was like a clean cut between those two which is like usually which does not happen and uh, like her two personalities were like uh, that is like that is the reason why she had a split personality and she herself that is the origin shiki was neither of them she was just like the body physical body or uh, something like that. i think it was like trying to say something like this okay is it the end or there's something more is the end isn't it yeah it's the end okay uh, so yeah as i was saying um so uh yeah so uh, shiki had like uh, so the shiki like that was talking in this episode was more or less like the nothingness uh, that shouldn't have existed and uh, because like uh, the personalities were forcefully like insti- like put inside shiki and uh, like she came to exist and uh, like shiki had two personalities and because of like her origin the nothingness that she has inside of her and uh, she like the murderous impulses of shiki comes from that and obviously because uh, nothingness means death or nothingness as it says so like shiki's that's why shiki's tendency is to like destruction and stuff like that and <laughs> and she said that she herself was more like the like in a easy way as she said uh, it it made me a little bit easier to understand that is she said that she was the like uh, the entity of the hardware and shiki was the software so like just take a computer for example the hardware if the hardware hardware itself exists and there's no software like the pers- computer will won't have a personality and it it will just be there like the hardware is just there that's it and because there is a software uh, it can use the hardware's like capabilities uh, as a, like use it as a vessel and use that as like a uh, personality and like the hardware's uh, like characteristics rub off on the software as well for example just l- take like m- uh, my computer for example like has uh, 8 gb rams Uh, and the software that uh, the computer uses is fast because of that if uh, the ram was like 32 gbs then it would it would it would have been faster and that rubs off on the software uh, something like this like that was a more e- easy like <laughs> enough <laughs> example for me to understand like i'm thinking of it as this like uh, that shiki was like the hardware itself she herself alone is nothing she is just the origin and the personalities that make her like uh, that uh, the personalities that are, that are inside her uh, makes use of that origin and that origin also rubs off on them as well like they're like a more like a give and take or not a give and take but each and others uh, like personality and characteristics rub off on each other and they make the whole person so something like that that's as far as i could understand about the like the origin of shiki and um, also that is the reason why like i think um, Uh, what was his name uh, soren araya uh, he uh, like uh, kidnapped shiki at that uh, in the movie like uh, spiral uh, paradox spiral or what was it called something like that and uh, he like he wanted to reach the origin and like stuff like those happen and obviously like if something that threatens humanity comes into effect then the counter forces like uh, comes out and uh, for that like uh, in the, uh, that was in that movie that happened like i uh, made a closed space and all for that not to happen so that is also like the reason why all like uh, like as the, the thing that i've understood is like the mages like the proper mages of uh, uh, the holy grail war or 
like in the type moon franchise they have one um, purpose in their life that is to reach the origin the truth the root of everything and uh, so like uh, like they like their main goal is that and that origin him itself is shiki here because of like the thing like how she was like uh, uh what can i say how she was um like came into being she came into being like her like existing is itself an anomaly so yeah and uh, as as, she, as she said that shiki's power that is the mystic eyes of death of uh, death perception that comes because obviously shiki, shiki was in coma and her personality was always looking at the origin itself and the origin itself being like nothingness and death uh, it kind of got imprinted on her and like after seeing death and uh, like staying with death for so long during her coma she became uh, like being able to see um, the death lines and uh, yeah a lot of things got answered in it so uh, like as she said also said that uh, neither of them were like um, the like main personality or anything they were more or like the same they were like uh, two uh, like what can i say two people side by side they were they were like two personalities side by side none of them were the main uh, and uh, she herself was also kind not kind of the main but she uh, like uh, the origin shiki uh, was more like what can i say the uh, vessel or the physical body as they said and uh, like uh, the origin yeah so like there is no real shiki or no fake shiki here each and every personality that shiki had that is like the female shiki that like like uh, destroys and denies everything the male shiki that accepts everything and like wants uh, everything and uh, herself that is the origin they were all like a part of the main like full body or like f full uh, uh, character shiki herself and uh, like we can say like we can say that yeah that shiki was the real one nothing can be said like that they were all like the same so it's more or less like that and uh, i'm guessing like uh, as she said that uh, i'm going to disappear but we'll see you again tomorrow that means like obviously like she being the origin she won't come out i think uh, ever again i don't know whether she'll come out later or not but she won't come out again and uh, <clears throat> like she's going to like stay in her origin like the place she has been forever and uh, and shiki like the personality shiki the female personality shiki is obviously like going to take over again and like they like um, I, 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 like again like she is going to like uh, spread her uh, what can i say nothingness or like that uh, destruction type of like a personality like uh, like that uh, thing which comes from her, her like that nothingness she's going to spread that to shiki and shiki is also going to get affected by that but like she is like a full-fledged personality and she has uh, mikia with him so i doubt she will ever like uh, kill again and even if she kills uh, like i don't think she's going to kill but as she said that uh, like the origin said that if shiki kills again that won't be her fault that is my fault because i'm nothingness and i am like affecting her so like these murderous impulses does not come from her it is uh, the result of uh, being connected to the origin that is me so yeah well this epi uh, like this uh, like epilogue uh, had a lot of um, monogatari vibes like they just talked talked standing there just uh, talked from the start to the beginning and it was entertaining well that is basically monogatari or the shaft series uh, not shaft uh, like shaft is the animation studio but uh, i'm talking about the monogatari series that is that is basically the monogatari series you sit down you talk for the whole episode and the like audience sees that and gets entertained just seeing two people talking like the way they talk the uh, like uh, the way they execute the whole uh, process is so good and obviously I, I, I was entertained uh, in the end of this as well because um, obviously they had a lot of things to even though like most of the symbolisms and everything uh, as they were saying kind of went over my head uh, like each and everything I couldn't like uh, make proper um, what can I say uh, sense of now if I like sit down and start to analyze the whole movie taking all, like one or two hours and sit down and think 
I sh- think I should be able to like get each and every symbol, uh, like symbolic meaning behind that. But that's going to like w- drag the reaction too long, and <laughs> I really uh, like <laughs> don't think that uh, that is something that I should do. But anyways, um, yeah. But the basic thing I kind of got to understand, as they were trying to say, and, and the s- things that I've said about uh, Shiki and everything, the origin. If like I'm mistaking about something or like uh, I'm misinterpreting something. Uh, be sure to correct me down in the comment section and uh, <coughs> yeah so so uh, like this is kind of like the epilogue as they said like it kind of like um what can i say cleared a few things few of the other things as well like why does she want to kill like she always herself said that i wanted to kill and like this uh, i uh, like uh, without killing i can't like i'm a murderer like uh, stuff like these so we kind of get why she does that and how did she, this happen. Uh, this was more likely a case of what can I say, uh, the origin, uh, like the personality of, uh, not the personality, the origin can't have a personality. Uh, the origin's nature itself was seeping out into the surrounding uh, personalities and that kind of affected them. So in that way they were like rubbing off on each other. And like uh, the hardware software, like uh, what can I say? Um, uh, example m- made me it really easier for me to understand. So like uh, like uh, thinking it like that, it is a lot easier to understand what this whole thing is. So yeah, uh, like I'm thankful that they like made an easy enough example for me to understand. Like if that portion was not in the movie, like as she said that I'm uh, like more chic is more like the software. Uh, I wouldn't understand any of it. So that kind of like cleared it for me uh, a little bit and I think and I hope that I'm correct in my interpretations if I'm wrong feel free to correct me down in the comments and uh, yeah that was interesting that was an interesting movie uh, not movie uh, can I call this a movie no epilogue anyways so that was an interesting epilogue and um, yeah that was fun and uh, like like uh what can i say like uh this was a like you have to like sit down and patiently understand each and everything otherwise this is a bit difficult to understand uh, like just by uh, listening to it and without thinking but yeah like this was like one of the mm, more symbolic filled uh, type of uh, episode like uh, other, uh, like the other movies had some bits of uh, symbolic stuff and all, but this was like from the beginning to the end, like they were talking in <laughs> like symbolism and uh, riddles. They were talking in riddles, and uh, so yeah, like <laughs> like I, I, what can I say? Like like. Uh, the funny thing is like in these animes like in animes which kind of like tend to do this type of stuff like talking symbolisms and like talk uh, more philosophically and uh, other other than like uh, like uh, without like normal straight cut uh, straightforward uh, conversations uh, they like tend to do this kind of stuff i'm surprised that the characters are able to follow them <laughs> like <laughs> like i mys- myself as an audience have to like str- like strain my brain so hard and like uh, read each and every lines correctly so that I don't miss everything. But the characters that are like <laughs> like listening to them, for, for example, take Kokuto here. He, I, I get the feeling that he understood each and everything that Shiki said, even though she said he said that, uh, yeah, I can like I don't get most of the things, but I can understand what you're trying to say. But I think that he got each and everything. And <laughs> the funny thing is like like how fast does this people like this character's brain work <laughs> like Shiki was constantly talking in symbolic meanings and <laughs> like uh, saying stuff not straightforwardly but like in riddles and in uh, kind of like that so <laughs> like hats off to Kokuto you understood each and everything <laughs> that Shiki was trying to say and I had to like strain my brain and uh, like listen to each and every word carefully otherwise I wouldn't have been able to like get any of it like this was quite difficult uh, episode to understand and uh, 
so yeah so that was my reaction to the epilogue i know there's one uh, like one uh, another movie left uh, which is pretty big i think it's like one hour 30 minutes uh so that i'll be like obviously like i'll do it in the next week and um, uh, yeah so as i said uh, at the beginning of the episode if you have not like uh, like uh, heard that i'm also telling it now uh, that is like you guys can uh, suggest me any anime uh, anime movies or anything type moon related content if you want me to react to that i have not watched uh, obviously i've watched um, the more like important movies like uh, like uh, more popular movies like thank you know for uh, your name and like stuff like those you guys understand which i'm talking about and uh, <coughs> and the uh, like uh, anime related movies for example kono suba movie uh, uh naruto movies all of these movies detective conan movies i've watched these all so not those uh, the standalone movies i'm talking about for example ghibli movies i've not watched any of them i know i should watch them and i will definitely watch them uh like uh, as a reaction as well later on so i'm going to so i'm going to ask you guys like what do you want me like to react to next like uh, like in the next week i'm also going to uh, like uh, ask this question as well in that comment section be sure to comment down below and uh, like in the next week i'll be completing the karno kyokai series and so after that what i'm going to do so be sure to like uh, like answer me in the comments uh, and i'll see where, where which one i have not watched and which one i've watched and i'll like uh, see the amount of people what like the majority of the people what they want and like if like there's uh, like little or no response i'll probably like do something that i want to so yeah but i'll definitely like ch check your guys suggestions first and give that the first priority so yeah okay uh, so thank you guys for watching if you guys enjoyed my reaction press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and uh, yes so i'll be back with a new karano kyokai movie uh, that is the last one in the next week so yeah so until then goodbye and have a nice day